Before this video starts, a small percentage of the people who watch me are actually subscribed, so if you end up enjoying the video and you want to see more like this one, be sure to subscribe, it's free and you can always unsubscribe. Enjoy the video. Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. So this video is pretty much going to be a new and updated version of one of my old video videos which started gaining attention a couple of months ago. Um, and I just didn't notice pretty much, but the video itself has over 2,000 views now and it, is, and it is called 18 items that you can only get by using commands. Now, of course, I didn't get any information wrong there, but I did struggle to explain some things and I'm just not that proud of the video anymore. So I decided to make a new uh, video pretty much being the same thing. Um, just me explaining things a little better because most people didn't actually understand uh, some aspects or some blocks or items that I explained and a lot of people wanted to uh, see me make a new version so here I am making a new version. Uh, there's a couple of items here, there's 18, well 19 items here but I'm going to talk about the dragon egg in a second now. These 18 items up here, other than the dragon egg, can only be obtained by commands and pretty much not in survival or the creative menu here. You can only get them by commands. Uh, with that out of the way, um, you can see that I've put a dragon egg in here. Now, most people will say that dragon egg is obtainable in survival uh, and that's why it can't be used um, like as a command only item, I suppose. Um, but once you type dragon or drag pretty much, only the dragon head and the dragon's breath items show up in the creative menu. So take it as you wish. If you consider it a command only item, um, if you consider the uh, creative menu, then it is a, co a command only item, but it is obtainable in survival, so that also means it's not a command only item. But yeah, the way you can get the dragon egg in survival, as most of you guys probably know, is to beat the ender dragon. And yeah, the only way to get them in creative is to use commands uh, such as this. But yeah, with that out of the way, let's actually start to take a look at all of these items. Now, the first item we have is the barrier block, which can be obtained by typing the following command. Easy. And now, let's talk about the barrier block. Um, especially in maps and trolling videos, people use them a lot. Um, I think in like 2012, maybe 2016. Uh, so in that time period, a lot of troll uh, trolling videos actually use this block. Um, but normally it is mostly used for Minecraft maps. But if you guys are looking to use it, here's how you can. If you place barrier blocks down, you will actually, actually see that they kind of follow you around if you move around them. And pretty much what these blocks are, if you don't hold a barrier item in your hand, they will slowly disappear from sight and become invisible. Now what that means is that you can stand on top of them and you can pretty much See, it, see, you can pretty much float, I suppose. It looks like I'm floating, but I'm actually not. Uh, this block cannot be broken in survival mode, so that's why I said most adventure maps actually use barrier blocks. But yeah, that's pretty much what they are, invisible vaults that can't be broken in survival. Now, the next four items are actually variants of the command block itself. You have the normal command block, the chain command block, repeating, and the minecart with command block, which we can place down by getting some rails. There we go. So I'm pretty sure most of you guys know what command blocks are. They are pretty much blocks that you can put down commands in and then activate them um, once you put pretty much put redstone into them or it can also be always active which means it's constantly going to pretty much do that command. And there's an impulse version, a chain version, a repeat version and the impulse one is pretty much this one. This is the chain version which can be set up like this and once this one gets activated all of them start to get activated and the repeat one is pretty simple as well it just keeps on repeating the same command. The command um, com minecart with command block is a little bit different because you can still set up a command here but you can also set up a rail track and then put down let's say a detector rail and then make it so that if this um, minecart like goes on top of it, as you guys can see, it detects it and puts out a redstone signal. So you could technically activate this command block by using this technique. And of course, there are more advanced ones, but I won't get into that in this video. So the structure block and the structure void block. Now, these are two blocks or at least one block since the other one doesn't have a collision box. Um, the structure block 
is pretty much used to copy and paste structures or at least the structures data so as you guys can see if we uh, look at here it says custom data tag name which I'm going to put down uh, in the description a link to the Suma Boys video because the structure blo block is quite complicated as you guys can see showing invisible blocks the text structure size and position um, and there's like a lot of stuff here basically um, but the structure block as I said um, essentially makes it so that you can copy and paste structures and also the structure void is used to fill in empty space while copy and pasting structures now back over here we actually have three different book types I'm going to go over them one by one first we have the written book which opened invalid book tag it just says invalid book tag and you can't even type anything in it this has no usage as of now um, since this is almost like the enchanted book as you guys can see this version of the enchanted book that you get with commands doesn't have a specific enchantment on it so it just says enchanted book but it doesn't actually have an enchantment on it um, and then the written book of course as I said is just a written book that has nothing in it and just said says invalid book tag no usage at all now the knowledge book this is quite interesting the item itself has no usage but if we go into the survival um, and as you guys can see there's a little green book here pretty much identical to the knowledge book we're looking at right now and if you click on it the um, pretty much craftable items show up this is especially useful for new players they can easily click on a item here that they have unlocked the crafting recipe to and pretty much the game instantly crafts it for them or at least it's put, uh, it puts down the crafting recipe for them so that they learn how to craft it and the knowledge book item is actually just a item that has no use it's just a item version of the book itself right here that you can click on so it's quite interesting I guess it's quite unique but it has no usage as of now and now we can get into the spawner now most of you guys know probably that spawners can actually spawn in survival mode or not spawn but generate in dungeons um, now with the 1.16 update mag magma cube spawners can also generate in bastions but they can only generate in structures and cannot be obtained by by breaking them so this item form of the spawner cannot be obtained in survival or the creative menu so that's why it is a command block only item but apparently in xbox and ps4 versions or at least the bedrock versions of the uh, Minecraft game you can actually just search up spawner in the creative menu and find it so that's pretty much it and if you guys are wondering what it does although I don't think many of you do it pretty much spawns mobs in groups uh, specific mobs that are chosen by the player itself for example let's choose a zombie villager we can place down the spawner and then right click it with this egg right here and it pretty much sets that spawner as a zombie villager spawner and over time it spawns them in groups so there as you guys can see it spawned one pig um, but yeah that's pretty much it and then we have the debug stick now the debug stick is a little bit weird I'm just gonna say that right off the bat uh, I haven't made a tutorial on this but I am planning to so if you guys are interested comment down below but pretty much what the debug stick does as you guys can see is change a blocks form or yeah that that's pretty much all it does as you guys can see this block is now considered snowy it was originally a grass block it still is but if we even try to copy it it still gives me the grass block so pretty much I'm guessing what this does is that it doesn't change the blocks ID instead it just changes the texture to a snowy version so normally what you would see is just grass blocks on top of uh, s snow or at least snow on top of grass blocks but as you guys can see it has a weird texture right there kind of looking like gravel so yeah as I said the debug stick is pretty much an item that changes a blocks appearance and not the ID making it so that you can get weird textures such as this one I'll try to link another tutorial on how to use the debug stick uh, mostly map creators use this to create weird textures with beds and other stuff I didn't quite um, be, like make the bed texture work but I guess you can figure that out yourself let's get on with petrified oak slab now this is quite a weird item let's get a normal oak slab as well for comparison so as you guys can see pretty much the only difference is that it's called the petrified oak slab now the IDs are different but they are both identical in texture wise 
as you guys can see there is no difference whatsoever but I can stack petrified oak slabs on top of each other I can stack oak slabs on top on top of each other but if I try to stack a petrified oak slab on top of an oak slab it doesn't work so as you guys can see I cannot place anything in this part I can only place a petrified oak slab and I can't place a normal oak slab now this goes the other way around as well so I guess you could get some weird textures with this or at least some weird looks um, I don't know if this is going to be useful at all though, so I guess that's up to you guys. So up next we have the four um, uncraftable items. Now these are called uncraftable items, so I just put them in order right here. And pretty much what they are, are so pretty much what they are, are, they are versions of these items that have no effect. So normally a splash potion might have had a poison effect, but it doesn't. It has no effect as you guys can see now of course you would say a water bottle has also no effect and yeah that is true but for some reason an uncraftable potion exists also a splash version lingering version and of course the tipped arrow version as I said these actually have no usage at all if we get a bow and if we try to shoot with it as you guys can see it's just a normal arrow pretty much just splashes on the ground and makes a, a purple smoke same with the lingering potion and the uncraftable potion no effects so up next we have the jigsaw block this is actually the last item that is on the list here and what the jigsaw block does is that it is quite a weird block it's similar to the structure block at least with the color palette but as you guys can see it is quite more different I guess and pretty much as I said what it does is that if you place a block right here and if we look at this as you guys can see it has a target pole a attachment type and it turns into so pretty much if you place a block on this part of the block this is a jigsaw and you place a block in front of it and then you configure this menu to make it so that um, this block turns into something else again mostly used in map making progresses um, I don't think many people are going to be using this block at all I haven't seen anybody use it so far but if you guys are interested that's the jigsaw block it pretty much turns the thing that is looking at that it's looking at into a different block comment down below which of these items are your favorite as i said most tutorial links will be in the description if you guys are interested in looking at the structure block the structure void and also the debug stick hope you guys enjoyed the video and stay safe peace out